welcome to Peaked. My name is Frank Castillo. Uh, what up, co-host? What up, homie? What up, best friend, JP? You good? Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Hey, water. Uh, today's guest is uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, I love this fucking kid. I watched this kid. Uh, watch this kid grow up. No, uh, I, I remember when he first came to the roast battles, and uh, yeah, he's been a fucking blast knowing this guy ever since. Guys, nice round of applause for Los Digits. What up, y'all? What's crack a This is the most Mexican episode we're ever going to have, and I fucking love it. Arriba. Shout outs to uh, Fernando Valenzuela. Yeah, dude, my dad fucking loves El Fernando Torito. Valenzuela. Why do you think, um, do you want to explain why the Mexicans have such big love for fan- Fernando Valenzuela? Because he's Mexican. Uh huh. But also, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, because like the Chavez Ravine shit happened. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's just crazy. But uh, <laughs> damn, bro, I got. Uh, Let's digress a little bit, dog. Uh, yeah, dog. I think Mexicans just have love for him because uh, just because he's from actual Mexico, dog. Yeah. And not only that, dog, but he fucking led uh, the World Series. I uh, led the Dodgers yep. into the World Series in '88, bro. Yeah, and yeah, that's crazy. I think that was a big moment too because it was one of those things like Chavez Ravine happened, and like Mexicans did not fuck with the Dodgers for a very long time after that. And then Fernando Valenzuela came and fucking like brought everyone back. Oh. Oh, uh, all sucking up water, dog. Oh, shit. Did I put too much? It's Almost French drowned, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like I was back in Chavez Ravine, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, you grew up in Boyle Heights? Hell no, I didn't grow up in Boyle Heights. <laughs> well, I grew up in Indo, California, dog. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Boyle Heights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, when I asked you where you live, you were like, I got to drive from Palm Springs. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought you lived closer. Yeah, dog. No, I I drive out here a lot, dog. I used to live here, dog. I used to live on Fourth and Alexandria, dog, mm. in a K town. Yeah, but I moved out because it was crazy. <laughs> it is fucking crazy. You were uh, you were mm, a battle papaya. rapper. <laughs> mm, <papaya. laughs> you were a battle rapper before you started doing comedy, right? Right, dog. Hey, that's crazy, dog. Now that you're bringing up battle rap, I started uh, in San Jose, dog. I don't know. Are you from San, San Jose? <laughs> I was born and raised in San Jose. Um, a lot of people from San Jose, because when I started posting about you, would hit me up and be like, that's digits. Yeah, yeah, dog. A lot, I have a lot of love out there, dog, for some reason. But uh, damn, dog. What's crazy is uh, one time I was I was going to battle rap out there, dog, at Battle of Jose. And uh, I was passing out flyers. Dog. We we're supposed to pass out flyers, right? And I had a stack, dog, probably like 100 or so. And uh, I walked downtown into like the improv, right? Uh-huh. And... Uh, I was like, I was gonna just pass off flyers the whole night and go practice, dog. And I looked up, dog, and it said, uh, Polly Shore, dog. And I don't know if you remember <laughs> this, but uh, you performed, well, I don't know, you remember that, you performed, but I don't know if you remember meeting me. Like, no way. I was going up, yeah, dog. Like, you had just done your set, dog. You opened up for Polly. And uh, I walked up the stairs to use the restroom up there. And you were like, there or like hanging out, I don't know what, but I told you, yo, yo that was a good set. I'm a battle rap tomorrow. And then for some reason, uh, you're all like, oh, I know Dirtbag. Yeah, I do. I do know Dirtbag Dan. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's just say the next day, dog, I saw you, dog, and I was walking up and you were hanging oh, out. Yeah, I fucking went to that. Yeah, I remember. You, you were hanging out. Were there. You yeah. were hanging out with Dirtbag and like a, a caustic and a bunch of like, uh, a bunch of like the, the battle rappers, right? And, uh, I walked up and you're all like, hey, didn't I see you yesterday? And then you go, uh, what time did I see you? And I go, I, you saw me when you saw me, dog. <laughs> And you said, that's something my dad would say. That is something my dad would say, yeah. But yeah, dog, that's funny, dog. That was like the first time I ever met you and be- I, before I started doing roast battles. So it was kind of like destiny or something. What a trip. Yeah, because then I also remember when you first came to the store. Right. And it was also just kind of like, I don't, like... Whenever Mexicans come to the store, I always try my hardest right. to show fucking love. Like, yeah, especially because yeah, yeah, there was there was and there was nothing but love. When, yeah, yeah. When I met you, dog. Yeah. And it's also this thing of like, there's this crazy thing with the store uh, where people were like, the store hates Mexicans or like the store is like not actively fucking with Mexicans. And it was also like the place that like Freddie Prince fucking was first. You know what I mean? Like that's the fucking you know Freddie Soto, all those dudes. 
So like that always like made me laugh whenever people were like the story. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you came and showed up, I remember being like, "Yo, fucking yeah, this fucking kid." Yeah. Because yeah. like, your character on Roast Battle, but just how you were on Roast Battle, I fucking loved seeing that, and I loved it. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I guess that's just me, fool. I don't know. Yeah, bro, you remind me of every <laughs> single one of my cousins. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> you owe me for that one birthday. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Remember? <laughs> it. It is just. It's funny, like, because whenever I see other, like, uh, you you gave you you gave me shit because I don't speak Spanish, right? And a lot <laughs> yeah. of people do, and it's funny as fuck, right? But you know, it's kind of cool because in comedy, even though like I don't speak Spanish, like, and I hang out with other Mexicans, like, it still feels like I'm with family, right? But nobody really talks Spanish like when you're hanging out. No, no, yeah. So it's, I don't know. It's like a second language, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And I really regret not learning. I, I, I wish every day. My wife, she was like, if we have kids, we're teaching them fucking Spanish. How the hell do you have a Mexican accent, though? Do I have a Mexican accent? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you say it like that, man. You don't, Eric. Do I have a Mexican accent, bro? I don't know. But, yeah, duh, yeah. Duh. I don't know. When I came to the comedy store, uh, that shit was crazy, dog. Because I remember, like, Yeah, tell me like, the first time you came to the store. It was, uh, damn, dog. I got shit. The first, it was crazy, dog. The first time I I went to uh to roast battle, dog, and I pulled up to the Laugh Factory, because the homie told me that yeah, I pulled it, and I was there out the door. And <laughs> the guys all like, "There's no roast battles here." I was like, yeah, "There is, bro." And I I had just, I had <laughs> just lying to me, yeah, fool. dude. I, just, I had just binged, dog, like a like a one day, like two days, dog, like out in Vegas, dog. One day in Vegas is already a binge, dog, because you don't sleep all day, bro. And uh, yeah, you do Vegas I, different I, than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. I don't remember Vegas, but I used to live there, bro. And I, I drove. I used to drive all the way over there, dog, like to come battle fool. And then I just realized, like, yo, man, I'm making the drive for what? Dog? I gotta just go live in L.A. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I moved to L.A. Dog, with the homegirl. And the rest was history. What were we talking about? Uh, your first time. Uh, your first yo, time I'm at peak, the- dog. <laughs> <laughs> your first, your first time at the comedy store. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a roast battles with Dylan, dog. Dylan yeah. Sullivan, right? Yep, Dylan Sullivan, yeah. Yeah, shout outs to Dylan, dog. Uh, I beat his ass, dog. And I, <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, dog. I just stayed there, dog. Like, I yeah. ended up fucking just gluing on to the comedy store, dog. And yeah, you found, you, you, you find where you fit in. And it was, I think that's what was one thing is like, you know, because when I first came to the store, I literally went up to Moses when he was running just the open mic and the roast battle was just a segment, right? And I remember walking up to him being like, hey, can I do music? What? Right? Yeah, I went you do up. Do music? Yeah, yeah. I was excited. Like I had like a broken iPhone. I was like, can I play? Oh, can I just do DJ and shit? You don't play flute or something? No, no, no. So <laughs> like, so I would just do the music for the longest time, and then eventually got into the roast battles, and then that's when I murdered a bunch of door guys and got the job. Yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. I don't know. The first time that I ever did the roast battles, it was a, I don't know if you remember, it was rap battlers versus uh, yep. comedians, yep. dog. And yep. I was the only one that just fucking knocked it out the park. Dog. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. That was the thing is a lot of people, a lot of the other rap battlers, great, great rap battlers. You know what I mean? But like when you see them go up against like comics that know how to fucking write, it the the gap between the abilities. Right. Like, yeah. Like I remember Omid well, battled one of the battle rappers, and then Omid was like. Oh, I'll just do a rap. And then he like fucking came out with a rap and one of the jokes and everyone was like, oh, shit. Right. Cause, right? Yeah. Because no one expected it from Omid. But it also could backfire. Dude. Oh, it's absolutely. I've seen it backfire. backfire. Absolutely. <laughs> what, was it last week at the yeah, comedy yeah. store? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dog. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for beating me, dog. Oh, that's hilarious. That's right. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's so funny. But yeah, dog. I don't know. But it's hard, dog. It's hard to come from like the rap world, dog, and like come into comedy not knowing comedy. Dog. Of course. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? The first time I ever went, I went up against a, a real comedian, dog, mm-hmm. I guess, you know? Fucking Dylan, dog. That fool fucking uh, had some jokes for me, but I had rebuttals, dog. And that's what rap is all about, rebuttals. Yeah. And I'm trained for that, dog. I'm like the fucking drunken master at that shit. Yeah. Some. I remember it was like the first time we all saw you battle. It was like, I think it was the first time I saw you battle. It was great. And then the second or third time I was like, he's going to figure it out. Because those rebuttals were just so funny. And just you're kind of like. The way you move in between jokes was just such a funny character. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it almost becomes, that becomes the funny thing, and then now everyone just enjoys it. And, it's so, and that's also such a hard thing to battle and overcome as, like, a comic roasting you something. You gotta figure out. You're like, oh, your fuck. niche. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. great. I remember it, something in time. Figure out your niche. So I was like, what the fuck? 
I don't know what that means, bro. Get out of niche. Here. <laughs> You're a niche, fool. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, you want to get in this? You know, smack some edibles? Oh, yeah. shit. What's oh, up? yeah, yeah. We got to do these edibles. That's so funny. You were looking at these and uh, you were just like, <laughs> you were like, is this a fucking Montana joint? political prisoner from Cuba. <laughs> so these are malt balls. They're edibles, 10 milligrams each. I usually pound about uh, 50. You said pound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you not like chew? You just mm-hmm. swallows them I straight. just swallow the balls all. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a guy do it with the hot dog though. Have you seen that, guy? You seen that dude? He's just straight out. <laughs> like he makes that noise too. So that's the disturbing part about that. <laughs> what the fuck? They smell like Play-Doh. Oh it's damn, they're good. <laughs> mm, oh damn, what are these? Malt balls, like little whoppers. Yeah. The peanut butter flavor is the smack for sure. It tastes more like a little, what do they call cups? Reese's peanut, peanut butter cup? cup? Yeah, they're fire. Fuck yeah. Asthma. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you do edibles often? Nah, not really, dog. I stick, yeah, I know, dog. I'm gonna, you're laughing because I'm gonna be all fucked up. How many, how many do you take? Two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take more. I think that's how you do that. If you smoke a bunch, you should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh, like when shit. people who like don't really mess with the cannabis at all come in and try to eat like four or five. It's like, hey, you're gonna have <laughs> like a rough last day. week's episode. Oh. <laughs> we, I wasn't gonna say anything. We didn't tell hey, you why. Anything? Why? Shout outs to uh, that oh, guy, Jackie. <laughs> shout outs to the last guest, but uh, I actually bought a designated driver, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way back to the desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had a we we had I had to drive her home. <laughs> I had to drive her car home. Yeah. She was like, "I'll be fine." She made it a block away and was like, "I need you to pick me up." <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Jackie Dog. <laughs> oh, all right, you ready to get in these? Yeah, for sure. Round one. Let's do it. Uh, in that in the intro and uh, in this first round, you guys are gonna be smoking on the Fatso mints. <clears throat> it's gonna be a Fatso cross with Kush mints. Uh, the Fatso is that GMO and Legend OG um, that we smoked a few times, uh, but like I've said before, it's one of my favorites. It has that really garlicky, kind of long-lasting taste to it. Uh, and then the Cushman's is going to add kind of a nice sweet creaminess to it almost, very like a uh, gelato, um, but not quite the same. It's a little sweeter, I would oh, say. Okay. Nice. You, I watched you. Uh, it was you hit me up with a message. You were like, "I bought the puffco," and then yeah. like you pulled up, and I saw the chamber, and I was like, "It is so dirty." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called using it, dog. We'll get it right, bro. We'll get it. Right. I want to see how many hits I've taken off that shit. Dog. That's I what the apps for, dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, fuck, man. It's just hard to use. Yeah, I like this. Just a little. All right. So, uh, when you hit it, don't hit it like a bong. Sip it like a milkshake. Like sip it slow. <laughs> you get more vapor if you sip it slow. I read that on the box. You read the box too. I read the box too, Doc. <laughs> Puffco, it's read the box. Read the box Do yourself a favor and just fucking read. Yo, it. Puffco, yo, Puffco Peak Pro, read the box. <laughs> That's the clip, baby. Frank, why are Mexican women so good at throwing chunkless? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, <coughs> it's just tasty, though. Yeah, I think it's um. It's, I think they see it throughout their lifetime, right? You know what I mean? You see it happen every day, right? And then you you see like the technique, right? And then um, I'm pretty sure when the the matriarch of the family dies, there is a specific sandal they give the oldest daughter to throw at everybody. (laughs) It's passed down. Yeah, yeah, it's passed down. Generational chunkla. Chunkla to chunkla, fool. <laughs> you know what I think it is, though? Yeah. I think it's like natural instinct. Yeah. Like when we used to be Aztecs, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. you know, we used to fucking hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's that, the instinct, you know what I mean? Like your your kid is getting away, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, that's I what I think it is, though. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. They also had, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, in Aztec culture, they had uh, the chunkla was actually their main form of weapon. So it was like sharpened on the bottom. So when they pulled Is that it, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me take a hit of the puff cool, dog. <laughs> I need a hit of I saw it in Apocalypto. It was one of the deleted scenes. <laughs> <laughs> a chunk of lick, though? Have you seen Apocalypto? 
Yeah, I see. Shout out to that guy. I'm <laughs> 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 just gonna keep saying that. Dog. Yeah, I see the apocalypse, dog. But say if you're not if you're Mexican, you have to watch those movies. Uh, Blood in, Blood out, American Me, Apocalypse. Yep, yep, yep. All, it, Carlitos all, Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carlitos Way, kind of. Yeah. He's, <laughs> that's the, he's, that's he's, he's Italian fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the that's the fucking uh, what's it called? Yeah. The apocrypha of like Hispanic fucking Bible shit. <laughs> Would you call me apocrypha? <laughs> I got a pocket full of cash. <laughs> I need more edibles. <laughs> oh man, this episode's gonna be fucking amazing. Digits, name a rapper that would beat you in a roast battle. Shout outs to that guy. <laughs> ah, fuck anybody now who knows how to rap. You really think a good? You think? Like, I mean, dog, are you talking about like Nas or are you talking about like fucking John that battles and battles his name? <laughs> <laughs> let's, go with like, let's go with like well known artists. Yeah. Uh, Do you think if Quavo showed up? I could be Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just spit some like crazy shit like. In a roast battle? If Digis hated Digis, Digis wouldn't hate the world. Digis loves Digis. Now Digis wants to be Digis because Digis is the world. See? <laughs> That's some Kanye shit. I don't know. I just probably made poetry or some shit. <laughs> Shout outs to that guy. You really are the Mexican Kanye West. Yeah, dog. I'm like Mexican Southwest, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to them. Oh, uh, okay. Are you Frank who's taking you down? Um. Oh, I'm pretty sure any. Um, I don't know. Do I have time to prepare? <laughs> yeah. Like, if I had like a, a week, regular battle. If I had a week, I think I'd I think I could ah, shit. Anyone who doesn't have a top ten right now. <laughs> hey, what, what would you rhyme uh matriarch with? Patriarch. No. <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah. Or you just made it's it the up? opposite. <laughs> Patriarch, matriarch. All right. Patriarch. <laughs> That That's, works. Make yeah. me fart. Ooh, we got an M and M over here. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, hey, this was saying peanut orange. butter M and M over here, orange. dog. <laughs> <Bar> <laughs> <hand>. <laughs> the peanut butter M and M. By the way, I think it's the first time I've ever made fun of JP on the show. <laughs> roast, roast, roast. <laughs> uh, he's gonna leave me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your co-host. <laughs> It's like I can't stand this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, what are some some of the funniest cholo-isms? Um, was it ism? I know what a cholo is. I'll let is. you take that one, Frank. <laughs> what a oh, what is an ism? <laughs> Why would you add ism to cholo? Uh, so it's like a. <laughs> you ever see? You know, like <laughs> white women have like live, laugh, pray, love, or whatever. So it's like, what's like a choloism or, or like a, like a, you know, like a, like a food, like my dad would always just be like, uh, live, love, laugh, like what? My, uh, my dad would always say, uh, laugh, fool, <laughs> <laughs> laugh, live, fool, my, <laughs> laugh, live, fool. My dad would always say, uh, the less, the less hair you have, the more head you get. Is that true? <laughs> I mean, he got a lot of, he, he, he's implying he gets a lot of blood well, I mean, jobs. <laughs> can you prove that stereotype? I mean. I can't, but <laughs> <laughs> he definitely can't. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's considered one. I can live the bald heads get more head. What? Uh, I mean, that's just something he says. It's like a you know, I mean, and he's like a trolla looking guy. Oh. So he'll say that around other Mexicans and that are also bald, and they'll laugh their fucking asses off. Um, or like uh, Nike took a choloism from a which one? Just, just do, do it, it fool. <laughs> <laughs> they, just took, they just took out the full part out of it. Yeah, yeah. Shout outs to them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs, Nike. We want our money. Shout outs, fool, for real. And that's the end around one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Right. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm high off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have ate all those malt balls. Right? How, how high? Bro, also, by the way, I don't think the malt balls have hit you yet. Like, you're high really? off the peak. Oh, yeah, it'll be like, oh, probably, probably, probably peak, like an hour. Well, hour. Yeah, you'll yeah, be driving out of here. And you'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, let's go. Where you at, Frank? Let's there's go. ninety more mouthful of balls around. And there's ninety more milligrams in that little green well, pouch. Hey, let's not. I, I got a thing to do tonight. <laughs> Was that a challenge? Round two. Woo-wee. Welcome How back to him? round two. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling pretty malted, dog. 
I'm malting into the seat, dog. Malted and peaked? I'm peaked as fuck. <laughs> I'm high as shit, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. Do you scale one to ten? How high? Uh ten. Oh fuck. Well, <laughs> We're gonna keep climbing, nah, I'm bro. just fucking with you, dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> I ain't a we, rookie uh, fool. <laughs> what are we? Uh, what are we at? One environment. Well, I, dog, I, I was blazing. I, I had a two hour drive, dog. So I was blazing on the way over here with my fucking little. Uh, I had bought the little attachment, dog. Oh yeah, like the, little, it's my favorite. The mouthpiece part. Flute. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you guys like a super good pull off of that. And then, uh, then yeah, when it. it vibrates again, yeah, 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 yeah sick, dude. That's uh, so stoked you got it. I like this shit. Uh, this is, but did I get the, the the newest one? Yeah, that's the newest yeah, one. Yeah, you got the pro. I wanted uh, to get that the white one. It was bad. The opal. That one just it. dropped. It looks sick. This one's uh, Tropicana Cookies. Uh, it's Girl Scout Cookies and Tangy. Uh, normally, uh, a lot of times when you get this a mix, it's a little more funky. But this one, when I tried it, uh, it tasted like man- like fresh mandarin oranges or like those like fruit cups. Because it has a lot more sweetness than I'm used to to, to seeing in a lot of those uh Tropicana cookies. Normally, there's a little bit of a funk on there. Like Tangy has some funk to it. Oh um, yeah, but this one's can, sweet, like super like mandarin yeah. sweet. You can definitely change well, the taste. Crazy, the one. Yeah, and the the, the high effect from that should be super uplifting, pretty social. <laughs> a little buzzy, buzzy behind the eyes from the sativa, the sativa yeah. terps. Finding good rosin, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, this well, one was like was really good. It was like really like yeah, it, it peeled my eyes back. Yeah, because like I said, normally I'm, I'm expecting a completely different. Uh, Flavor profile, and then it has this almost candy, uh, like very natural fruit flavor. Yeah, it does have like a weird, like Mexican candy or some shit. A little bit of that kick on the end, like tamarindo or some shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? That, that's that? a tangy as um, you know what tamarindo is. Mm-hmm. Huh? What are you hibiscus? Is that what fucking you guys call it? Hibiscus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody uh, posted a meme about a uh, hibiscus. I guess uh, Starbucks is selling hibiscus now. Water. Mm-hmm. Someone said those motherfuckers stole our water, dog. <laughs> they gentrified our fucking agua de Jamaica, dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, bro? You guys have rice water? Guess what, dog? That's fucking horchata. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The uh, only other people that are allowed to have rice water, dog, is the uh, the Japanese, dog. Right? Yeah, that's it. The sake. <laughs> that good shit. Digits. Yeah. Uh, how much shit would your family give you if you came home with a white girl? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you had white girlfriends before, but did they ever give you shit? No, nah, they never gave me shit. But I don't know. I think like low key they do. Like, you know, they don't like it, but it's not nothing crazy, dog. Like yeah, it's yeah. not like some racist shit. It's just you know, Mexican babies, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah dog. Right. Yeah, yeah, the Aztec world wasn't built in a day, dog. Or by a half white kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> half white kids definitely have that fucking like that right? It's the str- the identity struggle, I feel really? like. I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Wait, you're half white Mexican? No, no, no. He's he's uh Cuban. Cuban. Oh, that's the wait, half white Cuban? Cuban white and Chilean. Yeah. Wait what? Yeah, sounds like a party. <laughs> my my dad's side is Cuban and Chilean, and my oh, mom's right. like a bunch of white. Yeah, that's that's a crazy white mix, and like sir. Portuguese. Yeah, but that but also like my mom said that when she was going through her family tree, she was like our great great grandparents was like his wife looked Portuguese as fuck. You know what I mean? So it was like he looked dark as shit, and she was like a white redheaded Portuguese chick. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I got to spit in a tube soon. <laughs> Shout outs to uh, Hernan Cortez out there getting busy, dog. <laughs> That's why I think I'm like one part white or something. Shit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm afraid to take that test, dog, because then I'm going to have to like denounce my faith in uh, Aztec <laughs> culture, dog. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, shit, I can't. I already yeah, got the fucking dog, headset. I'm third, 3% Irish. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're like, God damn it. Do you have any red in your beard? Have you? Can you grow a beard? Nah, that's how I know I'm Mexican, fool. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with your beard, dog? <laughs> <laughs> for real, dog. Real Mexicans can't grow real beards. Dog, for some is it true? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what that is. Does that That's Hernan Cortez. Right? <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> you got on the boat too soon, son. <laughs> oh my god! What was the craziest shit your family said when you brought Hannah by? 
Of crazy shit my family like said. Funny shit your family. Funny shit. Uh, I had a cousin be like, "Oh, <laughs> thank God, we fucking made it." And I was just like, "That's <laughs> hilarious." <laughs> this is what. Oh, this I had is an, a staple. Though. I had another cousin be like, "She got any fucking white cousins?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, "One of them's gay," and she was just like, "I'll take Fuck it." it <laughs> Looking to the wedding, guy. yeah. Uh, Frank, what's your uh, perfect comedy lineup look like? Perfect comedy lineup? Me. Yeah. All the spots, baby. No. Um, dial on, dial on, and dial on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I would love to see, like, if I was going to do, like, a For the Culture lineup, so it was, like, all Mexican comics, I would love to see, uh, uh, I would love to see Felipe. You. Uh, Perez. Uh, and then also... Uh, uh, George, right? Other, you know, other George. Lope. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, fucking obviously me. Yeah. Um, but you can't throw yourself in the line. There's people you want to see. Oh shit! Come on, dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, digits. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you gotta write my shit. I don't know. What the fuck yeah. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, uh, mystery, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that for comedy. I mean, it would. I he'd be a great host. Well, that's bad. He'd be a, he'd be, he'd, listen, bro, he'd be a phenomenal uh-huh. host. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you hear it, and then the fucking lights come up, and then it's just like, boom, and he's like, well, hey, all you fools, put your fucking socks up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Bro. It, for the culture, it'd be insane. Then he had fucking Los Lobos close it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to be in, uh, in LA, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, uh, at Los Globos. Yeah, yeah. With Los Lobos, dog. Exactly. <laughs> Metala- Metalachi uh, also opens, uh, yeah. <laughs> opens the fucking <laughs> band. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of people too, but I'm also extremely. I think it was dumb. only five, dog. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. However many, I didn't give a number. <laughs> oh, all right. Damn, that's a lot of fucking people. Yeah, though. but I'm sure there'd be much more people I'd add to the list. It was a yeah. comedy festival, dog. Yeah, dog. What about you, Digits? Yo, I'd go with like Polo Polo, Paul Rodriguez, George Lopez, oh, fuck, I Paul Rodriguez, Felipe Esparza. Mm-hmm. I'd go with like, uh, damn, dog, Eddie Murphy. Shit, dog. there's a lot of fools that probably want to see Hedberg if he could bring his ass back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a gram if you're out there. That's also cool. As f- I like, uh, you know, it's the thing that I love the most about comedy is that it's like comedy really like it all bounds. You know what I mean? Like my dad's, you know, an right. OG kind of guy, but he loves Mitch Hedberg. Like he right, loves, yeah, he's fucking he funny, loves dude. all the fucking comedy. So it's like. It's very funny to see like. Just you, know, you know, it's trippy, dog. My first like CD that I bought like for comedy. Was Mitch Hedberg, dog. No fucking way. Yeah, that was the one where he's like laying on the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I, I still have it. I remember getting a a Mitch Hedberg CD and me and my dad would always... So me and my dad would always go on um, road trips together. And I remember he would always put music on and I'd always complain because I was a little shit and I didn't know how to appreciate things. Yeah, you wanted comedy on yeah, but also he was like just like, uh, he was also like, fucking, all right, fine. And then I remember he loved comedy, so I would start to bring him, like, albums that I liked. So then I we listened to Mitch Hedberg the whole drive up to it's Modesto. Fire, Dude, man. so funny, bro. It's I, fire. I remember him almost crashing the car at the duck bit. <laughs> when the duck steals the fucking bread? Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fire. I remember it, uh, but I remember the duck steals bread or some shit. It's yeah, funny, yeah. Dude. Yeah, Hedberg's funny, dog. Also, I think Brian Regan would be hilarious. Because you also think of, like, what's, like, a white comic that you put on an all-Mexican lineup that Mexicans maybe not know? Pablo Francisco. (laughs) (laughs) That people would, would, like, lose their mind. Like, what's one white comic do you think if you put in front of, like, an all-Mexican lineup that people would be like, holy shit, that they may not know? That they may not know? Yeah. Shit, I may not know them either, then, fool. I don't really follow the comedy that close, but uh, damn, dog. I'll just say that one, uh, that guy that draws shit, dog. Oh, Dimitri Martin? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, Dimitri he Martin would. Trip would him, he'll fu- trip him out. Like, yeah. dog. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a people. chorizo. <laughs> no, it's a duck with yeah. a penis. <laughs> hey, yo, what? People were like, what the fuck, fool? It's a duck, duck with the chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy, dog, Dimitri Martin, dog. Yeah. He tripped me out when I seen him, dog. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know, man. There's not a lot of comics that, oh, maybe like uh, Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr rips. Bill Burr would probably like rip on somebody in the crowd. He'd hey. probably get shanked, dog. Nah, there's something <laughs> weird about like Mexicans where it's like, if if it's funny, even if you're ripping on them hard, if it's funny, they still laugh. Well, no, we have a, a thing, dog. Like, I used to work in the fields, dog, and I, we would do this a lot. It's called carrilla. 
but it's pretty much like bringing you down and make you fucking like work harder, dog. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's a thing like we've done for like ages, probably, dog. Probably oh, since like the chancla throwing days of the ass. Yeah, yeah. Bro. My mom calls that raising kids. <laughs> 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 I used to fucking pick shit in the field too. My uh, so my family in San Jose, they all still work the fields before it was like now fucking industrial San Jose. But my aunt bought uh. uh uh, like an orchard in fucking uh, Fallbrook Damn. and my mom would make me she would call it doing Mexican work she'd make me she would oh, let yeah. me have summers off she would make me go pick fucking the orchard and work the farm with the other Mexicans so I would be out there and I, I didn't speak Spanish yeah. so they would just be like who the fuck's this useless kid why you know what I mean? and I'd just be like hey guys what's up you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and like I got my Walkman on and shit and they're just yeah, like yeah, they- American Eagle jeans and shit and they're just like what the fuck Dude, there's people out there that are, like you, you go dog and there's kids working out there fuck dog yeah, like dude. 12 13 year olds mm-hmm. like damn dog like my mom's still selling oranges on the side of a street right now right yeah hell yeah dog. because she buy wants some, to she's just like ah, buy some money. edible oranges dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo what are these right here dog these look you want to get some in gummies, these bro. hell yeah i want to get in these dog. Uh, i've been hiding them since i got here fool <laughs> i was gonna steal them but i mean you can take them home for sure. <laughs> i'm fucking around <laughs> My pockets are full. Oh damn! Ten milligrams each. Little hitters. All right, so we're at a hundred right now. Woo! <laughs> I'm peaked. <laughs> I'm Frank. Peaking. What's an exotic meat uh, that you would not be surprised to find uh, has been a secret key ingredient in hot dogs this whole time? Would you keep eating them? Oh, if they were like. Wait, what this mean? animal is. If they hot came dogs? out and they're like, so just so you know, the hot dog for the entire King. time has had kangaroo in it. Oh, it's. Legal. Oh, I mean kangaroo. They eat kangaroo. Yeah. I mean, and dog. I, I remember when uh, Bur- Burger King came out that they had a horse meat dog, and I remember I was like, "Fuck, that's why they're bomb, dog." <laughs> they're bomb, bro. They taste different from any other one. Like Car- <laughs> Carl's, you can go with Carl's Jr. dog, or you can go with fucking Burger King dog. There's two different tastes on the chart, dog. I wonder what it is, fool. Well, one of them's a cow. One of them's a fucking horse. <laughs> true. Yeah. It was also like when they were like, now our now our chicken nuggets are 100% chicken. It was like, well, what were they before? <laughs> yeah. What and the why fuck? do they taste better? <laughs> <laughs> they killed actual baby chickens now, dog. Thank God. It just deep fried them. Um, if it was, if they were like, I don't know, man. I'm 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 gross. So like, it would have to be I don't, like a bunch. I, I think like insects, maybe. Some weird, like, yeah, snake or so, something yeah. Because like, like, I remember the first time I had cow tongue. It was at my aunt's house. She had just she because they buy it. I like how you say it for it. lengua. Yeah, for lengua. lengua. Well, no, no, no. Well, I say cow tongue because when when it I was went a cow tongue. Yeah. Well, I was also just like <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I was like, is that a fucking cow tongue? She's like, yeah, it's lengua. And I was like, what? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm making tacos tonight. And I go. I'm not going to eat that. And she goes, <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to eat that. And she looks at me and she goes, oh, you fucking love this. And I go, yeah. what? And she goes, you've had this tons of times. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I haven't. She goes, yeah, you have. <laughs> the she was fourth like, wall was broken. Yeah, yeah. she's like, you can't fuck. She was like, you, you can't stop eating this. And then I remember I had it for dinner. And I was like, oh, my God, I fucking love this. Yeah. I tried to get my my wife to eat Bro. it, and she was like, uh, and "When I, like, I order it with with my my girlfriend, she's like, what the fuck are you about to eat?'" So good. Uh, Rex Navarretti, he used to have a joke because I think he's some kind of uh, Mexican. No, I think he's oh. like Filipino or something. But their culture that's also like the, that's eats, like the Asian Mexican. Yeah, they also they also eat cow tongue. So he talks about he's like, yeah, he's like langua. It's the only food that tastes you back. <laughs> Roll it back, <laughs> <or arriba. laughs> Fucking hilarious. And that's the end of round two. Perfect. Final round. Hey, welcome to round three. JP, what are we smoking on? Yeah, this one's kind of a little special. Uh, this one, Frank went and go, went to pick up some uh, some some hash from the Jungle Boys. I went and got some uh, 140 micron uh, LA Kush cake. Uh, LA Kush cake is a uh, wedding cake and animal mint, so it's going to be your classic like OG yep, so kind of wedding cake taste for the most part. <sighs> And uh, explain why this is special, the hash. It's different. So like a lot of times, so what we normally smoke is a rosin, which they take the hash, um, and then they press it into rosin with high heat, or high pressure and low heat. Um, <laughs> where with this guy, this is literally just that the trichome head's extracted from the plant, like straight out of the water, and then and then frozen. <laughs> and then dried out, freeze-dried, usually. 
<coughs> so we're actually smoking a little plant material. You're literally, yeah. So you're literally smoking the little trichome heads, the little crystals. When you see when you look at a nug, those are what's collected what you're smoking. So inside the trichome head is going to be THC and the terpene content of, 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 of the strain. So that's why it's going to be mostly flavor. Um, but yeah, there will be the plant material you'll see um, in there is just kind of residual um, from like the Finish actual trichome milk, heads. Fuck. <laughs> Holding it in. <laughs> oh, yeah. And these guys, uh, it's, it's a little special because normally uh, it's water hash is a little expensive because the yields are so low. Like a lot of times you go in, uh, you'll get like 5% uh, of what you put in back um, in hash. Uh, and first poll means they literally, this, they did their uh, the washing and then whatever came out of that first bag, that was what they used. So it's normally going to be the the, um, <coughs> the cleaner stuff. I'm... I could feel it. Yeah. And yeah, normally, uh, depending on kind of Hello? what the strain is and everything, <laughs> the, uh, the micron size can make a big difference yeah, as well. Yeah, and then uh, you want to explain what the micron is? Uh, so it's like uh, this actual size. So like each one's it's almost like a... Um, like wow, a that one's uh, crazy, dude. That one's a real deal right there. Like a sifting, like sifting it through like a... Um, uh, the sift. <laughs> a sift. A sift. <laughs> um, but each hole is going to be different in each bag. Okay. Uh, and each one's Damn. a different size. Yeah. So these are 140. So the, the thought is uh, that's going to allow the plant to have very big um, and more mature uh, trichome heads. Cajones. Yeah, duh, that shit's fucking fire. Duh. I yeah, like that one. A little more potency, a little more flavor. Ooh, man. Yeah, I could fucking. I, it's the edibles and the fucking. Yeah. We'll be sleeping a little bit, Frank. Yeah, I also <laughs> haven't eaten today yet. Frank, if you could be uh, could be a drug a successful drug kingpin, what would your mansion look like, and my, where would it be? What, my mansion uh, would be in a region. Um, Ooh, my mansion would be in San Francisco. He said narco, right? Yeah, but I would have my mansion in San Francisco. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, ah, uh, damn. All right, if it's got to be in Mexico, yeah. Yeah, it's flavor, dude. Where's the spot where uh, just some, dude, somewhere far away off the coast, so I can Don't like say surf Selena, and shit. Dude. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that shit would have a helicopter. No, I wouldn't drive a helicopter. What would I do? Definitely a boat, like a place where you got boats. I think I'd have more boats than cars. Maybe some motorcycles. Definitely a place where like you could just sit in a room and play video games, like that whole shit. And then. Maybe a basketball. I mean, who am I kidding? I don't play basketball. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely like a, oh, you know what I want? A fucking curling court. Nice. You know what your curling is? An, uh, Yeah, where you work out. No, no, no. This is, I'm about to disappoint you. Uh, Like the winter sport curling, where you have that rock the and way you slide throw it. that weird shit. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah, ice. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. guys with the ice picks? Yeah, it's brushes. Why? Yeah, yeah I would, I don't know, because I've always thought that was fun to play. You gotta do like oh, a rich cool. people sport, like highlight or something. Like What's highlight? People's. It's the one where they have like the um the really weird like banana shaped looking like ra- oh, rackets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get the ball going like a hundred something miles. Like I bought one oh, yeah. for my dog. They fly it against the people wall. People die in that. Yeah, people get fucked up. It's bad. Yeah, like and it's it. like a hard ball, like almost like a um, racquetball. Would be. They have those for dogs now. What are rich sports? Sit, sit throw it. That uh, batting team, uh, fucking badminton, uh, tennis. What is it? Polo. Polo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about something you need a horse for. Yeah, for sure, required. Yeah. <laughs> Can horses swim? And fucking, I would. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Horse racing, horse racing. Yeah, I'm fucking so high right now. <laughs> Shout out to horse racing. What about you, digits? Where would you? Uh, where would your mansion be? Oh, what that's would, easy. Like? No. I'll probably have it like in uh, in San Felipe, dog. Right on the beach, fool. Now you know what? Fuck that. Cancun, dog. Right on the beach, dog. Fuck it. Fuck all the laws, dog. I own that shit. I have a fucking uh, three-story fucking mansion, dog. An outrageous one, dog. One you never seen before, a three-story dog. mansion? Yeah, <laughs> dog. It'll be, like, it'll be like a building, bro. The most outrageous three-story yeah. mansion you've it'll ever seen. It'll be three seen. stories, bro. <laughs> it'll be one mansion stacked up on top of another mansion on another... On top of another mansion, fool. Mansions bro. on mansions on mansions. I'm going to have the you craziest I mean? condo you've ever seen. Hey, bro. Hey, you said if I was the kingpin, bro. You yeah. think El Chapo was fucking around? That's what I had a motorcycle underground, bro. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I want that, too. I want a motorcycle that goes from Cancun to the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would want... 
Uh, same thing. I'd want a private tunnel all the way to my spot in San Francisco. Jeez. And then, uh, yeah, just back and forth, dog. Yeah, a big ass three story mansion, dude. <laughs> That's it. On the beach, <laughs> front side, dude. <dog. laughs> Digits, uh, which historical figure who wasn't a comic uh, do you think would have the best headlining set? Uh, and who do you think they'd bring on the road as their opener? So, like, all right, yeah, anyone I get it. from history. Uh, I think, uh, fuck, man. Fuck, si man. Se, si se puede. Fuck, what's his name? Hold on, let me think of this guy's name really quick while you guys uh, oh, okay. uh, enjoy this nice commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think who are you good? What was his name, dog? Who? I think he was the leader of Antifa. <laughs> Just kidding, dog. I don't know, dog, but he was a Mexican fool from like the fields, dog. Oh, okay. Cesar Chavez, dog. I'll have that fool the as a leader headliner, bro. Or Antifa. <laughs> yeah. Cesar Chavez. Or whatever, dog. I get my letters. <laughs> I get my letters mixed up, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I think I'm uh, dyslexic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Antifa, what the fuck was it? A N T F A. I don't know that. Oh my god! <laughs> Shout outs to that guy, but yeah, that, <laughs> have that guy dog, and then have like Hedberg open up for him. <laughs> but, oh, man, man, did you hear about this dude? He picked grapes. Here he is, man. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Such a hey, good, right. Such a good Hedberg impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you, Frank. Okay, if I had to pick, um, I would love to see, uh, I would love to see, oh, this is going to be racist. I would love to see, uh, right after they, uh, freed like everybody. Cut to commercial. Right. I want to see George Washington do a set. (laughs) What? No, he wouldn't free everybody. Who (laughs) Who freed everybody? Lincoln, fool. Lincoln, everybody. Wait, sorry, my bad. Yeah, even I know that guy. <laughs> I'm so for, I'm He's so high. I forgot at, who freed Antifa, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you mixed up Antifa. I was just like, yeah, which was the president that what? freed all slaves? <laughs> <laughs> no, Washington, Washington was the bad one, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Washington know. was the one that hooked up with one, right? Yeah. I mean, they all did terrible things. Yeah. Um, but. I want to see him. Now I feel like I've dug myself a hole. I want to see him do. Now, now I don't want to see him do a set. <laughs> Let's go to commercial, guys. Um, Brought to you by Punch. I would want to see. I would want to see John F. Kennedy do a set. Ooh. I feel like you know, what I mean? and I want Marilyn Monroe to open up. Damn. That'll be fire, dude. Because you know, the second he gets up to do his like start his set, his fucking head will explode. Damn. <laughs> All right. Now everyone gets to decide which was the worst thing that I said. The thing that I tried to say previously or the, the thing that I just said? <laughs> it wasn't as bad as me calling Cesar Chavez the leader at Antifa, dog. I'm going to get some shit for that, dog. Fuck, dog. I worked in the fields for a long ass time, <laughs> Shout outs to my, uh, shout outs to that guy. <laughs> Damn. To the mayordomos. <laughs> oh. Frank, what's the funniest uh, story the family loves to tell when everyone gets together? Um, my family, my, my family especially, um, so they used to pick on me a lot when I was a kid. A lot of my cousins and shit. And uh, I think I told this last time, maybe. But this is one that they don't stop telling is uh, when I was a kid, I told everyone I wanted to marry my cousin Celeste. Because she was so nice to me. First cousin or second cousin? First cousin. Uh, and uh, I was so young. <laughs> oh, wait, I, you were like young, young. I was young, young. I didn't oh, grasp right. the concept of what marriage was or what anything, right? I was just like, this person's nice to me. She's great. And Married. I'm so happy. And uh, everyone cannot stop making fun of me. Like, they bring <laughs> it up everywhere. Like, my so wedding. Every time, like, they're, like, you guys are in the same room? Yeah, man. They're like, hey, remember that, <laughs> hey, remember that time uh, you wanted to marry our cousin Celeste? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole thing. Even her husband's like, hey. And I'm like, fuck <laughs> all hey. of you guys. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty funny, well, bro. Dog. Shit. Fucking one time you? on uh, the fucking, uh, I matched with one of my cousins on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Right. And we, like, started talking. Did, wait, wait. Did you know it was your cousin? No. Oh. Did yeah. She, did we, she, like, we, literally, like, a week later, she's like, I think we're related. Can you please unmask? I was like, <laughs> like <laughs> and I started laughing. I thought I was like, "This is the funniest fucking thing that's ever happened to me," and she was not happy. Dang. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious! That is crazy, dude. You must have swiped right really fast, huh? Someone, um, 
I've heard of people that are like, uh, like someone's telling me they're like, uh, they saw another comic on Tinder and they're just like, I swipe right on my friends just because it's funny. And I was like, oh, that's, that's hysterical. Funny, but then like, there's always that one person I'm sure who's just like, hey, and he's yeah. like, no, yeah. this was a joke. <laughs> Give me a spot, Frank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I've, I don't have Tinder. Um, I love <laughs> going on my friends' Tinders though. Like when Tinder first came up, I remember just being like, just like, I don't, you know what I mean? Because I can't, you know, I got a wife, but we both were talking about how we would love to go on our friends and just be like, right, just, just wild swipe west. the yeah. shit out of it. Dog. Yeah, All the ugly so chicks. fun. I mean, every chick is beautiful, actually. Let me just give everybody a little reminder out there. Every woman is beautiful inside and outside. What's the ugliest chick you fucked? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to uh, uh, Becky Sue. <laughs> shout out to that girl. Um, Knott's Berry Farm 2003. <laughs> Behind the the haystacks, fool. Uh, 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 uh. I swear, no, I'm just kidding. Dude. Oh, that's hilarious. But I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, what was the, the story for you? Shit, dog. I don't think we have one, dog. I mean, damn, dog. We really don't have one, dog. Like we don't really get together like that. Dog. Like our family is like far apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Feel it. But damn, dog. I don't know, man. Maybe that one time my cousin tried to stab my other cousin. That's all. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> the one time my fucking mom fought everybody in my mom's yeah. <laughs> in her when step the, family. The I got drunk last Christmas. <laughs> Those are the stories. We don't really have like a story, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell yeah. That's the end of round three, guys. Oh, that's hilarious. Oof. How you feeling, man? Like I need more. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what are we round twelve, dog? What is it? <laughs> We're doing heavyweight rounds now, or what? Let's go. Oh man, this is it. We've uh, found ourselves the Let's end go. of it. You uh, you want to do one more dab? Let's go. One more dab. Yeah, we'll to end off the fucking show, homie. We can do the uh, punch one. Anything you want to plug before we start to get out of here? Yeah. Check out uh, losdigits.com. Check out all my battles on there. Check out the fucking uh, the roast battles at the comedy store. You know, we fucking uh, we're out there uh, every fucking Tuesday at 420 uh, Eastern Standard Time, 120 Pacific Standard Time. Me and Jeff Ross have a stereo show now, dog. Nice. Yeah. Every Tuesday, dog, on that shit. We just roast the shit out of people and let people roast us. So. That's great. Yeah, get on stereo on that shit and uh, hit us up. Have you been doing any uh, stand-up? Stand-up? Nah, there's not a lot of stand-up over there, but I'm trying to get back over here dude, and do it. I was doing open mics. I would go to, like downtown. I would go to the Sycamore. Just like shit I knew people were at. But I didn't really get into it. Dude. Then the pandemic happened when I started doing it. So I kind of just backed off. I was like, fuck it. Dude. I'll just do the roast shit. I did the roast battle Japan or the Tokyo ones. Oh yeah, I forgot you went and did that too. That was cool. How'd they treat you out there? No, I didn't go. I did the Zoom. Oh, okay. But they want me out there, but I did. I went. Yeah, and it no, was amazing. Dude, the pandemic, dog. I had to do everything through pandemic. Yeah. But you've been out there, right? Yeah, dude, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, dude. It's, it's yeah, shout dope, out uh, fucking roast battle Tokyo. Jack Rat was the name. JJ uh, Rack Rat. There you I go. I think I got right? his name right. Yeah, I didn't. He's a cool dude, man. The The whole spot was dope. Last, I remember I went there uh, with his friend from Canada, who's really, really cool. Dude, we stayed out to like... Dude, it was crazy, because I remember we got you there. You were jet-lagged, dude? I slept... How so, many hours did you do on the plane? Like so 12? that was the thing. He was like, I get you a ticket. It's 24? fucking 400 bucks, but it's like 25 hours. Oh, I like flew to Beijing, and then yeah, from Beijing, I've ever flew to back Beijing, to Tokyo. Dude. But it was still worth it. I just slept the whole way. Or I slept on the flights, but it was daytime every place I landed. Right. So like I left Los Angeles at the daytime, landed in Beijing at the daytime, left Beijing to Damn. go to Japan to l land there midday. Did you sleep all the fuck? Yeah, it was like weird because I was just up the whole time, right? Well, what, so th did they have beds in the fucking plane? No, I just like would catch Z's as much as I could. And Damn. then I remember when I first landed there, it was so still the afternoon. They were like, "You guys want to go out?" And we ended up I ended up staying up another 24 hours just cuz <laughs> it was already, you know what I mean? And my body was just so fucking thrown off. It took me like two, three full days to adjust to everything. But man, it was just the greatest fucking weekend. It yeah, was two shout weeks, out to them, dog. Shout yeah, out to dope. the roast battles out there. They're doing it everywhere, dog. I've done the Tokyo ones. I've done the Australia ones. I've done the England ones. Damn, dog. I don't even know, dog. I've just done a bunch of them. One time I forgot I did one, dog. Or I had one. I just fucking. Hilarious. They were hitting me up on Zoom. I was like, fuck. It's cool like, to get on Zoom. Here's the code. I was like, "What?" 
That's what you should definitely do. Is now that <laughs> now that everything's open up, you should try to like see all these shows. I know like Sacramento's got a cool one. Uh, it's like blacktop comedy. They do like a roast, a verbal insults kind of deal. Right. There's a lot of roast. Dog. I've been in one. Uh, dude, I was supposed to do one at the. Uh, I don't know, dog. It was like in, like down here, dog. Like somewhere in L.A. Holy shit, that shit's good. Yeah, it's not a... <clears throat> the fat soak mints. The fat soak cush mints. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to do it, dog, and I, I fucked, like, they called the police or whatever, dog, because it was during the COVID, right? Yeah. And they were having it indoors. It's where, uh, damn, I forgot the comedian's name, but he's always there, dog. Uh, they're, they're having it all the time, dog, and like, they called the code enforcement, and we had to throw it at Supernova, dog. So I ended up battling this guy at Supernova. Mm. But yeah, they're everywhere, dog. There's roast leagues everywhere. It's like, I think that's the only time they've had a Mexican on that stage. So that's pretty crazy. Well, uh, Pablo Francisco. No, I know. I was fucking around. Um, <laughs> dope, white. man. Anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Uh, no, I think you already did. Shit, yeah. dog, I plugged everything, <laughs> dog. Fuck quiero yeah, quiero decirles a todos que estoy orgulloso de estar aquí con el Frank. Ya sé que no entiendo lo que estoy diciendo, pero... A toda madre. <laughs> I'm going to send it to my mom. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, JP. Of course, man. Thank you, bro. Thank Yo, you, Josh. Thank you, thank you Gerardo. Appreciate thank you, everybody. You, thank Hell you, yeah, Puffco. Bro. Thank you, Punch. Uh, thank you, Maiko. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.